double down showdown racing mini racing long jump and now freestyle all right not much different here oh i forgot to fix that oh, I'll, I'll get it in a second here's the freestyle track we got a pile of cars here and uh so so hobby buddy came up with a name for each obstacle so let's go over that real quick we got the patriot triple Rain Supreme. He wanted this to be as steep as possible, and this is the best I could do. Got the Carolina Crusher trailer. The middle jump, which is called Hoonigan Havoc, which is going to be awesome. Then we got the double valley jump. Got the pond. Then uh, we couldn't come up with a name with this, so he was like, hey, can I call it a mystery obstacle or something like that? And then I was like, well, why not call it the Riddler obstacle? And so we did. So yeah, we got that, and um, that's, that's pretty much it. So, enough talk. Let's get started. First, I need to fix that wall. Alright, first off, our Double Down Showdown champion, Raisin Kane. And it will be a two for Raisin Kane. So we're going to start off with the triple. Let's hope it works. Over he goes, and oh, there goes the cars. Alright. That was hit one for Raisin Kane. Now hit two. Going for Hoonigan Havoc. Here we go. Down the ramp and all. Oh. All right. Not bad. Not bad of a run for Raisin Kane. Okay, next up, our racing champion, Quad Chaos. And, no, try again. And it is a five for Quad Chaos. So here we go. We're going to start off with the double valley jump. And here we go. Oh, oh. Just couldn't get just couldn't get over. Front flips right on to the other side. That was hit one. Now for hit two, going for the Riddler jump. And over it goes. Alright, eight starting off small. That was hit two, and now hit three. Going for a reign supreme. Oh! And he, Goes right over it. All right, that was cool. Now for a hit, two, four, yeah, hit four. Going for the triple. Oh, seems like he's got an issue with his axles, but he's powering through it. Well, let's see what he can do for his final hit as he goes for who and again have it. Oh, over he goes into the Carolina Crusher trailer. I was really hoping to save that for later, but no, he slams right into it, and over he goes, and he's going to take it back to the shop to get repaired, and hopefully be back for the next Slime Series. Now, next up is our mini racing champion, looking to become a four-time world champion, it's Dragon Galaxy, and it's going to be a five for Dragon Galaxy, all right. You know what? What the heck? Let's start off with the Carolina Crusher trailer. Here it goes. Oh! And just flies right through it, completely flattening it. All right, hit one. Now hit two, going for Reign Supreme. Oh, and almost did a backflip, but just didn't go high enough. And over it goes. Now for hit three, going for the double valley jump. See if he can make it across. Oh, and sort of does, but it falls off the side and onto the roof. That's hit three. Okay, number four. Going for the triple sack. The Patriot triple. And over he goes. All right. And one more hit to go. Going for a Hoonigan Havoc. For hit number five. Up and over and new leader. Dragon Galaxy. And up next, your long jump champion is the Monster Vet. And it's going to be a four for Monster Vet. So we're going to start off with the Carolina Crusher trailer. And flies right through it and tries to climb over the cars. Yeah, that, that, that pile did not, the tower did not last long. Why, why was I calling it a pile at first? I have no idea. All right, hit two, going for the double valley jump. Can he clear it? Well, he went around it. And landed on its roof. 
Okay, now hit three. Going for Reign Supreme. Oh, and he, and he hits a triple instead. And you know what? That's going to be his final hit. So here he goes. Hit four. Going over the Patriot triple. And over he goes. Okay. So, Monster Bat will not get the win. At least he won long jump. Alright, our next competitor is Hurricane Force. And it's also going to be a fourth Hurricane Force. And, uh, yeah, here we go. So, sorry for, for the background noise. Freaking neighbors. Anyways, going for the Riddler jump first, and, oh! Trips over the van, flips it over. And, yeah, not much to say here. Okay, hit two, going for Reign Supreme. Oh! Yeah, you just can't keep it on all four. That's what you get for being too crazy. Now for hit three, going for the double valley jump. And it goes to the side, kind of clearing it, I guess. Well, not, not really. Yeah. Yeah, not really. Anyways, that was hit three. Now for his final hit. Number four. Going for the triple. Can he make it across? And he does. Oh, wow. Okay, Hurricane Force making it over the triple, but Dragon Galaxy is still your leader. Okay, next up is Zombie Skeleton. How many times do you get to go? Oh, it's a five. Okay. You know, we're going to start off with this. And here we go. Oh, right on the middle of the triple. And it goes over, it doesn't do any damage, but, oh well. Okay, hit two, going for Reign Supreme. Wow, I don't think I made that steep enough. There's hit two, hit three, going for the Double Valley. And try the front flip over it, but, nope. <laughs> Okay, hit four. Going for the Hoonigan Havoc. Oh, we cleared it. Oh, wow. Nice jump by Zombie. Now he's got one more hit to go as he goes for the Patriot Triple. And here he goes down the ramp and hits the side of the triple and flips over. All right, well, that will do it for Zombie. All right, next up. The beautiful looking chrome grave digger. Roll that dice and it's a three. Okay. Start off with the double valley jump. Down he goes and oh! Yeah, he hit the wall and lands in between the double valley. Wow. Wow, luckily nobody was hurt because there's nobody there. Alright. Next up, going for the triple. Oh! Excellent job by Grave Digger. All right. Now he's got one more hit. He's going to go for Hoonigan Havoc. Let's we'll see if he can beat Dragon Galaxy. Down he goes and oh, into the Carolina Crusher trailer. Oh, man. Oh, tough break for Grave Digger. All right, so Dragon Galaxy is still your leader. Grave Digger is not. Okay, next up, it's my truck. It's the Mind Blower. Let's hope he does better in this than he does in, in the MTA. Because I really got my butt handed to me this month. Sorry, I know I keep mentioning that. I'm sorry. I, I'm just excited to be in it, you know. And hopefully I have better luck in June, assuming that I make it. Anyways, roll that dice, and it is a two for the Mind Blower. Okay, we're going to start off with the Hoonigan Havoc. Oh, right into the Carolina Crusher trailer, but... That thing is going to be flat. Well, it already is, but how can we make it worse for it? All right. Anyways, one more hit. Going for the Patriot Triple. Here we go. Oh, nice jump, but out of bounds. So I could have won. <laughs> That's why Mind Blower was too good. All right. So I have Mind Blower, and Dragon Galaxy is still your leader. 
Looking to shake things loose. It's Earthshaker. Roll that dice, and it is a four for Earthshaker. All right, we're going to start off with the Carolina Crusher trailer, since everyone keeps hitting it. Whoa. All right, that was cool. Did, a, did kind of a front flip there. Piece of cotton flying around. All right. Not bad for hit one. Okay, hit two. Going for the double valley. And front flips over the, the double valley. Lands it on his roof. He's going to knock that car out. Okay, hit three. Going for the Patriot Triple. Oh, over he goes. And off to the side, but he is not done yet. He's got one more hit to go. As he lines up for the Hoonigan Havoc ramp. And down he goes and into Carolina Crush's trailer again. Yeah, there's something wrong with this track. I need to fix it. All right. All right, uh, that'll do it for Earthshaker. Yeah, almost forget, almost forgot uh, how many hits he had for a second. Anyways, next up, this guy has won freestyle before. Can he do it again? It's Rap Attack. And it's going to be a four. Man, so many fours. All right, hit one. Going for the Riddler jump. Over he goes with no problem whatsoever. That's like the easy jump. Well... If I can get around the van, which Rap Attack did. All right, hit two. Hit two, going for the double valley jump. I just fixed the ramp a little bit to see if it works. Nope. No, oh, it wasn't the ramp this time. It was a stupid track. That was hit two. Now for hit three, going for the triple. And goes around it. Lands on all four. Now he's got one more hit to go. As he winds up for Hoonigan Havoc. Straight down and oh, oh. And Rap Attack will not get the win. Good run, though. Not bad for his first World Finals. Uh, we haven't seen the last of him yet. Looking to destroy this World Finals. It is the Destroyer. Kind of mumbled with that, sorry. And another four. Man, so many fours. All right, let me rephrase what I just said. Looking to destroy the World Finals, it's the Destroyer. All right, we're going to start off with the Double Valley Jump. And here we go. And now i got to worry about the track. All right, hit two. Going for the Rain Supreme Jump. In reverse, because Dan Evans. Oh, oh, seems to have some kind of steering issue on Destroyer. That wasn't too bad for hit two, but... Hit three. Now he's going for the triple. All right, not bad. His back axles are wobbly a little bit. A little bent, but he, it'll be all right. There he goes for his final hit. Can he destroy the dragon? Oh, and managed to overcome his bent axles in the rear. Manages to get a decent jump in, but sadly he won't get the win. So that's that for the destroyer. And up next, representing Team Gears, it's the Great Club's Mohawk Warrior Gears. Oh, and it's going to be a one for Mohawk Warrior, so line up for the triple. Oh, uh-oh, hold on. All right, we're good. Here he goes, down on the ramp, and, oh. All right, so that will do it for Mohawk Warrior Gears. Only one hit, short but sweet, but and not too bad, not too bad. All right, look out. Here comes Snakebite. The green one, to be exact. Probably my favorite one they've done. And it will be a two for the snake. So, let's go. We're going to start off with the triple. Down he goes. Over he goes. And over on the side he goes. Off the track. All right, so that was hit one. Now hit two. Going for Hoonigan Havoc. Oh, man, I had high expectations for him. The way he went down the track, no wobbling at all. Pretty good jump, but not enough to beat Dragon Galaxy, who is still your leader, in case you forgot. I don't see how you can forget, because I got a habit of repeating myself. Alright, next up, if I remember right, this guy won freestyle in 2015 at the World Finals. In my side series, on my channel, not in real life. Would have been cool, though. It is Monster Mutt, and here we go. Oh, it's a six for the first time. All right. Where do we go from here? I don't know. 
Well, let's start off with the double valley jam, shall we? All right, not, not bad. Why did I say night? All right, that's hit one. Now hit two. After being disappointed by long jump, he wants another shot at going big. So here we go. And that was too big. Oh, man, what a save. All right. That was hit two. Now hit three. Going for the Carolina Crusher trailer. Oh, yeah, he's tearing it up out there. Destroying everything in sight. Now for hit four. Going for the Rain Supreme jump. Oh, man. Number five. Taking on the triple stack. And misses completely. Goes off to the side. He wants to hit the hoot again. Havoc jump, apparently. So that's what he's going to do for his last hit. As he lines up. And down he goes. And oh, lost control right in the middle and flips it over. And I'm fumbling over my words here. And Monster Mutt will not get the win. Great run, though. All right, next up is El Toro Loco. Who, if you've been following since 2020, then you'll remember that El Toro Loco did win freestyle in the World Finals in 2020. So, see if he can do it again. Oh, it's going to be a one, though. So, you know what that means. The triple. Oh. And here we go. Oh. And El Toro Loco will not get the win. All right, next up, another new addition to the World Finals. This Hotweiler the Werewolf. We roll that dice. And it's going to be a six for the Werewolf. So, let's go. He's starting off big. Going over the triple. Oh. All right. That was hit one, now hit two. Oh, coming down hard on the Hoonigan jump. Taking out one of the cars, at least hitting it anyways. Now for hit three, taking on the double valley jump. And I believe I fixed it. Step it on crap, I'm good. Nice hit three. Now for hit four, he takes on the rain and supreme oh some great air by the werewolf now hit five taking on the hoonigan havoc jump oh and what a hard hit there for werewolf all right one second and number six he wants another go at the triple so here he goes over he goes and yeah all right so that's it for the werewolf can anybody catch up with Dragon Galaxy here? No. Man, the Carolina Crusher trailer is really taking a beating, getting knocked out of place. You know what? We're going to leave it like that. See what happens. All right, next up, it's Batman. And it's a five for Batman. So you know what? We're going to start off with the Carolina Crusher trailer since we mentioned it. And there we go. Oh, wow. Okay. <laughs> All right. Okay, now hit two. Taking on the double valley jump. Pretty sure I fixed it. And here we go. And, oh, tried to go into the pool, but fell off. I guess he's drunk. So drunk he can miss the pool. So that was hit two. Now for hit three. Taking on the rain supreme jump. Oh, nice job. Yeah, I combined jump and job. All right, hit four. Taking on the Patriot Triple. Oh, oh. All right. That was hit four. Now hit five. He was disappointed in how he went down on the triple, so he's going to go for it again for his final hit. There he goes. And the Batman will not get the win. Can anybody catch up with Dragon there? Okay, next up, it is the Kraken. I believe this is the second World Finals. But let's see if he can prove himself here. After not getting a win last year, it's going to be a two for the Kraken. So, let's start off with the triple, because why not? Why not? And over he goes. I don't know why they keep going that way. Probably because I want them not to. And final hit, going for the middle jump. Here we go. And Kraken will not get the win. Okay, next up, it is the Spicy Tuna, Megalodon Fire. Oh, and that's going to be a one. All right, he's going to be taking on the triple. 
All right, and Megalodon Fire will not get the win. All right, next up, looking to become a World Finals Champion, it's Bounty Hunter. And it will be a four for Bounty Hunter. Let's go. Starting off with the Double Valley Jump. And he does the same thing Batman did. Trying to go into the pool, but doesn't make it. Okay, well, let's see what he can do for his other hit. As he takes on the Carolina Crusher trailer. They're looking to, do, to destroy that thing until there's nothing left. And he goes right through it. Slightly like got some kind of vendetta with Carolina Crusher. And we haven't even gotten to him yet. That's for part two. Okay, where was I? Oh, yeah. Hit three. Taking on the Reign Supreme. Whoa, nice jump. Man, look. All right, now hit four. Pray that I fix the triple. And here we go. Down he goes, and oh, that's what I'm talking about. He may have not gotten the win, but that was a pretty good jump, though. So Dragon Galaxy, still your leader. All right, just one more run before we close it out. I made this ramp a little steeper, so. Oh, oh, oh. Ah. All right, sorry about that. Uh, okay, so I guess I just rolled the dice there for TNT Motorsports, and it's going to be a five. So here we go. Representing the Monster Machines. Taking on the double jump. I'm first. Double valley jump, whatever. Oh, and into the pool he goes. Finally, somebody did it. Oh, man. Oh, man, now he's going to be all wet. I hope this doesn't screw him up for the other hits. As he takes on the Hoonigan Havoc jump. For his second hit. And oh, I got a good feeling about this. That's hit two. Now hit three, taking on the Carolina Crusher trailer. Oh, and a complete front flip. Woo. He, he's getting all dirty, but he don't give a cramp. Now hit, next hit, that was hit four. Taking on the Reign Supreme jump. And now here he goes for the triple stack for his final hit. John matches him a little bit. And here we go. Down he goes and over he goes. And he will knock at the wind. All right. That will do it for part one. We're off to a somewhat good start. I got to work on the track a little bit, I guess. But you will see part two tomorrow because because right now I got other stuff to do. Work-related stuff. And the money ain't going to make itself. How else do I pay for all this cool stuff? And I'm out of breath, too. I'm okay. I'm all right. Anyways, this concludes part one. Can anybody beat Dragon Galaxy? Well, we'll find out tomorrow. Till then, see you later.